Hello and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Randacia or Randy for short. And before we jump into this budgeting video, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who have subscribed. We have hit 1000 subscribers and I just want to thank you guys again so much. It means so much. I wanted to hit that goal before um, the year was over. I think in a previous video, I misspoke and said that I've been on YouTube for two years. I've actually only been on YouTube for a year. I started my channel in, oh, sorry if I was shaking the camera. I started my channel back in July of 2019. And um, I posted my first video in August of 2020, but that's when I posted like plan with me's and stuff like that, which I wasn't really feeling. And it wasn't until like November that I hit my stride with what I wanted to do with um, my channel, which was budgeting videos and of course planner stuff as well, but mainly budgeting videos. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm glad that I'm helping someone out there. And I just want to thank you guys for helping me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers before 2020 ended. So um, let's get into the budget. I do have a couple more um, announcements but they're budget related mostly. Um, January, we are expecting my husband's income to go down just a little bit because um, funny story, he, we haven't, well, we currently do not have health insurance. I thought we did, but we don't. And um, it all has to do with my husband going down from full-time to part-time. So they told him that he would still have his benefits. So long story short, Ah, his job is just like, they blow my mind sometimes. But anyways, it's supposed to be reinstated come um, January. So I'm thankful for that. But um, his income is going to go down a little bit more. So this budget probably will change and I'll have to shift some things. But for right now, um, I'm just going to do it like I normally do. And we'll just see what his new income is once um, it changes. I am expecting to change like somewhere around the 8th when he gets paid. But um, yeah, we'll we'll deal with it when it comes. Um, also, as you can tell, I am in um, the new Happy Planner Savvy Saver uh, budget planner that just came out this year. I am trying it out, um, see how I like it. But um, this is, I'm gonna flip you through just in case you didn't watch my budget setup. And I did change some things from my budget setup. So I told you guys, don't be surprised. So basically what I changed from that video is I changed the uh, paydays, the payday stickers. And then over here, the outline that was red and um, this red box, this graduation cap that was red and this green um, water drop. I basically took some Sharpies and um, colored over them because they weren't the color that I wanted. So I just took some car um, some Sharpies and colored over it. And now I am completely happy with this page. And then flipping over to this page, we'll, we're gonna fill this out in just a second. I'm just showing you guys what happened. And then this page, and then this page. So on the weekly expenses, I did switch it around from my um, Erin Condren monthly planner. So I had this, um, we have this extra column right here and I was going to do plus right here and then minus right here, but I like having the plus and minus in one column. So I was like, what the heck can I do with this extra column? So what I put for the income is I put uh, received and then for the expenses and unbudgeted section, I put paid. So, and the reason why I put that is because sometimes I get my bills early and um, I know the actual amount early, but I don't like to write it in because um, basically me writing it in, in my Erin Condren monthly planner told me that I actually paid it. So I really had nowhere to write in whether it was paid versus unpaid if I wrote in the actual amount. So now I can differentiate those two. And then, um, in the actual column, when I get like my water bill, whatever, I can just write down what it actually is. And then, um, once it's paid, then I'll check it off. So that'll let me know that, um, I have my actual bill, but it's not paid yet. So that's a little bit more clarifying. So I thought that was a good idea for this extra column and we'll see how I like it for this month. So now 
um, I think that's it. If anything else pops into my mind, um, I'll go ahead and say, well, actually, let me just turn to my monthly. Um, my, our car insurance did increase. So you'll see that in this budget. And, um, we are going to cancel Walmart grocery, which is, uh, the renewal is due this month. I think it's $98, but, um, my, we found out that my husband, if you're new to my channel, my husband is on his journey to becoming a doctor. He is a junior in, um, in school right now and he's pursuing his bachelor's right now. So, um, so we just found out that his next semester is going to be online again. So we've decided to just hold off on getting Walmart um, grocery delivery and um, having him go pick up the groceries from Walmart. And also too, I went to the grocery store for the first time in like, since the pandemic started basically. And I kind of missed it. I, I'm like one of those people that really likes going to the grocery store. It's relaxing to me, but I don't like going with my son. I don't know that I can't be the only one that don't like to go to the grocery store with their kids. So, um, yeah, it's like nothing against my son. I love him to death, but it's just like, I, I like to think I like to peruse and see what's new, what's new to try. It's just like, I like to take my time in stores, but if he's cranky and hungry, it's like, dude, I got to get out of there. And also for those of you who are new, sorry, I keep saying this, but I know I have a, a lot of new subscribers lately. So I'm just trying to catch you up to speed on what's been going on. Um, but basically our son just turned two and we only have the one child. All right. So for, without further ado, let's get into this budget. I know y'all like, girl, stop talking. Okay. So our expected income is 5,100. And then we are rolling over $1,859 and 45 cent from, um, last month in December. So our total income that we are budgeting on is $6,959.45. So um, it is one of our goals for 2021 um, to get a, one month ahead in our bills. So I didn't want to wait until 2021 to start that. So it is um, still December right now and while I'm recording this video. So yeah, um, don't wait until the new year to start your goals if you can start them early. So, um, for our savings, I know these headers are kind of dark, but, um, for the savings, we're not putting anything into our savings account. And this Murphy is basically our short, short term emergency fund. So, um, if you follow Dave Ramsey, our Murphy account is, um, $1,000 that he recommends. And then we do have a separate long-term emergency fund, which I just call emergency fund. So, um, we're not putting money into either one of those. So our savings total is zero. So we still have the $6,959 and 45 cent. When I was setting this up, like this is grid line paper from the happy planner. And these lines are a little bit too small. Like I know I can write small and I have no problem writing small, but for my budget planner, I'm kind of used to the Erin Condren monthly planner lines. So I probably will switch these pages to line pages uh, next month and going forward because these, these lines are a little bit too small. And then it like, it made my budget smaller. So I have more space to like decorate, which for my budget planner, that's I'd prefer less space to decorate just because um, it puts less pressure on me to fill that space. But I know that's all in my head, but I know you guys know what I'm talking about. So no worries there. OK, so for our monthly expenses, we're doing one thousand eight hundred fifty nine spot forty five for mortgage, one thousand sixty for child care and child care did go down to two sixty five a week. So I'm doing four weeks. And water and trash is 120, electric is 20, natural gas 20. Um, my husband's life insurance is 69.96. My life insurance is 57.64. Vivint is um, 56.47, and Vivint is our home security. MetLife is our car insurance, and that went up 
to 281 from 225, which I don't like, I know what happened. Our insurance renews, um, it renewed in December. So, um, yeah, that's the new rate, but why the jump from 225 to 281, I'm going to have to call them. I feel like I always have to call them and they're going to give me the same BS about, oh, that's just what the rates are and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like nothing we can do about it. It's like, dude, okay, let me go over to progressive or something. I'm sure there's something they can do about it. But either way, Frontier is our home internet service and that's 5476. Verizon is 125. ID theft is 1290. Uh, Hulu is 1199. Netflix went up a dollar and it is now 1399. Disney Plus. Oh, I was supposed to cancel Disney Plus. When is Disney Plus due? Oh. Okay, so I hadn't, I forgot that I haven't written in my um bills on here yet, just mapped out where the um icons need to be. But I looked on my pre-planned budget and um Disney Plus is due on the sixth, so I have time to cancel it. But for right now, I'm just gonna write it in and adjust my weekly expenses if I need to. So let's go ahead and add up these monthly expenses. All right, so that monthly total is 3,770 spot 15. And we're going to subtract that from the um, income total that we have. All right, so our remaining is 3,189 spot 30. And I'm pretty sure I fast forwarded this part. So that means, yes, you guessed it. My Mac mini came in and I am back to um, being able to edit. I am testing out two different um, programs. So Premiere Pro Rush and Premiere Pro. So um, yeah. I'm seeing like, I, I think I like one for my overhead videos because it's like the overhead videos are pretty quick and easy to um, edit. And then I think I want to use Premiere Pro and all the bells and whistles when I get into like more involved videos because it is my goal to like start doing videos that like I'm in front of the camera. So um, I don't know exactly what that looks like yet, but that's what I'm thinking. But anyways, for um, gas, we are budgeting two twenty, and groceries we are budgeting five hundred. Diapers we are budgeting forty. Um, for me, my husband, and my son, we each get fifty dollars for fun money. So let me go ahead and add that up. So that is nine ten um, for our digital envelopes. And I do use Q Money for my digital envelopes. If you want to check it out, the link will be down in the description. And okay, so remaining we have $2,279.30. So next is my school loans. Oh. I wanted to actually change the name of these because my husband's um, my husband now has student loans and they're not due yet because they are on forbearance because they're federal loans. But I wanted to change how I'm um, writing down. Our student loans. So my student loans is with Nelnet and those are federal loans as well. And that total. <clears throat> excuse me, that total is 112.01. Um, and like I say, his is with uh, Great Lakes and their federal loans, but they're not due yet due to the forbearance. Mine are also on forbearance, but I'm choosing to still pay them. So um, okay, so subtract that. And that is two thousand one hundred sixty seven twenty nine alrighty 
So now we are going to move over to sinking funds. So sinking funds, uh, car repair and maintenance, we like to put $100 in. Home repair and maintenance gets $20. House supplies gets $20. Clothing gets $20. I did add back fun um, slash holidays, like family fun slash holidays, just because um, I have found that throughout 2020, um, we did need like a little bit of money here and there to go do stuff as a family. Mostly for 2020, it was just um, renting a movie or um, buying a movie on Vudu. So, and that's Vudu, V-U, D as in dog, U. Um, that's where we are basically converting all of our DVDs and things like that into digital movies and we're housing them all in like voodoo. So that's what we're doing with that. So fun and holidays. I'm only going to put $10 because that's typically how much a movie costs if we catch it on sale for the most part. Um, and medical, we're going to back into that number. So for right now, let's uh, keep going. So I'm just going to subtract all of these. Okay, so that leaves us with 1,997 spot 29. So let's move over here. Um, rollover OMA. So rollover OMA is, the OMA is one month ahead. So like I said, it is our goal to get one month ahead. So the money that we rolled over from December to January is to pay for our January mortgage. So we're rolling money over from January to pay for our February mortgage. So Technically, we are one month ahead on our mortgage right now. So I'm going to put 1,859 spot 45, which is the um, amount of our mortgage. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract that. Okay, so we have $137.84 left. We have a daycare fee, an annual daycare fee for my son's um, daycare that we have to pay. And that's $100. So that's going to be um, $37.84 left. And now we're going to do iCloud and um, Adobe. Oh, I forgot. This section is new to my budget. I am separating my business expenses out of my personal budget. So basically any expenses that I've been paying out of my personal budget um, for YouTube is now going to be in this section because once YouTube um, income from like AdSense or whatever starts rolling in, I'm going to take this out and put it like into a business plan or whatever that may be in the future. Um, once like income starts coming in and I actually need to budget it, um, that's when I'll like move this and get that budget planner going. So, but for right now, it can have this little section in my personal budget. So iCloud is $9.99 and I do use Adobe Cloud for like editing, um, for the video editing software that I use, which is Premiere Pro and um, for like Photoshop and Lightroom and all that other kind of stuff. I haven't gotten into those, but I do plan to. So $19.99 is how much Adobe Cloud is. So we are going to subtract that. All right, so we have 786 left and I've paid all of my bills. So since that is remaining, I'm gonna plug that into the medical and medical is the um, sinking fund that we are working on building up right now. So I'm gonna put 786 and then I'm gonna add all of these sections up and what should be remaining is zero. So let's do that. So 177.86 is the sinking funds total. So we're gonna subtract this um, amount from this remount, amount remaining from the debt. So remaining was one, 1,989 spot 43. 
And then let's go ahead and add these two up, which is 1,959 spot 45. So we're gonna subtract this from this. Okay, so we have 29 spot 98 left. And then we're gonna add these two up. And those two equal 29.98 and then um, subtract it from the remaining from the planned expenses and you have zero. So because our um, income minus our expenses is zero, we have a zero based budget, but just to make sure that my math was correct, I'm going to do my um, budget summary down here. Oh, I kept getting the wrong number and I'm like, what the heck? I miswrote the uh, digital envelopes. I wrote the remaining total instead of the envelope total. Let me fix that. All right, so that is zero. So that means we have a zero based budget. Um, I think the only other thing I wanted to say is uh, for the newbies, my planned expenses is basically any expense that's not a like doesn't fall into the rest of the category. So usually this is the section where um, like if you wanted to or if I wanted to, I could let loose. If I wanted to plan a vacation, a girl's trip or gifts or whatever, if anything that's not a bill, a sinking fund, digital envelopes, debt, anything like that falls into this planned expense. So you can kind of like call this planned expense um, miscellaneous, but I like to call it planned expense just because um, it feels like I'm giving more control to what I'm spending my money on because to me, miscellaneous and no knock to anybody who uses miscellaneous, but I like to just be um, very particular and, you know, because words have meaning and miscellaneous is just like, oh, throw it into one bucket doesn't really mean anything. It's just like a throwaway category for me versus to me, planned expenses mean that I have deliberately sat down and I am specifically planning to spend money on this. So if I wanted to spend money on a vacation or just like a spa day or something like that, that's where I have fun in this section because it's not miscellaneous. This is like my treat myself, my um, let's go have fun, let's live life section. But unfortunately right now we don't have the income to really ball out, but um, you know, one day we'll get there. But for right now, we we're doing what needs to be done so that we could change our family tree and set up um, our family legacy, which is ultimately what my goal is in life. So um, please hit that like button if you like this video and hit that subscribe button if it feels right. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.